Hi, this is Skid Kelly, and I'm here at Potter's Place in Andover, New Hampshire, on a section of the Northern Rail Trail. I'm here today to introduce my video on gear ratios. Just like the sprockets of my bicycle, gear ratios will let your robot's motor change its output. Let's use this simple gear setup to illustrate the principles of gear ratios. We have a 12 tooth gear and a 36 tooth gear. Notice that we have placed a small line on each one of these teeth so we can keep track of how far the gear tooth has gone around. Gear ratios consist of a driving gear and a driven gear. In this case we are going to drive the 12 tooth gear and the 36 tooth gear is going to be driven. Let's see what happens as we start them turning around. We will give the 12 tooth gear one complete revolution. Now notice that the 36 tooth gear has only moved one third its distance around. We actually have to turn the 12 tooth gear two more times before the gear teeth lock into one another. This is known as a 3 to 1 gear ratio because the driving gear needs to go around three times before the driven gear has gone around once. You will notice in the 3 to 1 gear ratio the 12 tooth gear, which is the driving gear, goes around three times as fast as the 36 tooth gear, which is the driven gear. That means anything which is attached to the driven shaft will receive three times the amount of torque that is being applied to the driving shaft. 